Good afternoon, nature networkers and uh, metric applicants. So we are busy recording the segments related to the Mind the Gap um, introductory um, booklets for each of the subjects. Now, um, we are focusing on the subjects that most of our applicants are involved in and they will be applying for. So let me share the first one with you without any further ado. So we are making sure now that when we are sharing, we are sharing directly from Classmate. And then um, on Classmate, you are then able to view the Mind the Gap. And this is the accounts one. Okay, so there you have it. And I, I realized yesterday that there's a slight delay when opening documents. So I opened it already and that would save us some time. Now we should by now know how the study guides work. Remember, it's not the textbook. It's only a study guide, meaning it is a compressed version of what would be in the textbook. However, there might be areas in the textbook that you need in order to cover the full curriculum. This is more for revision, okay? But we give this to you for those of you who are still waiting for your resources and need to get your resources up to date. So I'm just scrolling quickly past and I'm just giving you an overview of what is in the content. Uh, ministers forward is there and here's the table of contents. Now you already know that there will be a dear grade 12 learner letter to you. There will be a segment how to use the study guide. They will give you 10 study tips, how to boost your learning. Then they will give you what will happen on the day in the exam for this accounts paper. And then they will have questions and answers. And lastly, they will give you a learner checklist which will help you with your studies. Now, what will you learn in chapter one? You're going to learn basic accounting concepts. Now, these concepts is very important that you focus on this right now, so that by the time you get your textbook, you already have the basics under your fingertips, right? And you know your work. So basic concepts, the rules of accounting, classification of accounts, steps to recording transactions, these are the basics and it will give you an overview, especially if you've been out of the system for some time. Now the next part, oops, I scrolled a bit too far down. Let me go back for you. The next part, and I want to now enlarge it a bit so that you can see much clearer. Okay, with me, <laughs> companies. Now it's going to tell you what are the concepts related to companies, the company general ledger, preparing financial statements of companies, the cash flow statement, analysis, interpretation of financial statements, comments on audit reports, okay? Then it's going to go into uh, manufacturing, important concepts related to that, production and cost, and then chapter four is all um, related to budgets, key concepts, your debtors, creditors, analysis of that budget. Um, chapter five, and you know what I noticed, it's a quite a short um, segment of pages, so it can be manageable if you plan it properly. So you can't be spending two weeks on chapter three, and chapter three only has three pages. You get what I'm saying? That should take you one day or two day max, and you fit it into your study timetable. Um, then chapter five, reconciliations, types of reconciliations, the banks, the debtors, the creditors, inventories. Um, types of inventories, valuation systems, and then what is VAT, and then calculating that VAT and VAT control accounts. Now, there are fixed assets in chapters, um, chapter 8. It's all about that. Then it gets to your asset register, and then your residual value, and note to the balance sheet. Now, it goes into past accounts papers, and I want to show you straight. I want to just show you what it looks like inside the modules. Okay, remember there's your checklist and this checklist is basically how you are going to, to control your studying and to manage and to uh, um, remember what you did yesterday and the day before. And you can also make a little note there. Let's say you do understand it or you don't understand something. That's very important, especially if you plan to book a tutor for yourself. 
that tutor is going to want to know specific information. They want to know exactly what it is that you do understand and what you don't understand. You can't be contacting a tutor and saying, listen, I don't understand anything. That for me is somebody that didn't yet start to go through things themselves because in everything that you do, there are going to be some things that you will understand and some things that you won't. Now, this checklist and this checklist is on, and it, it, it can be in every one of your Mind the Gap study guides, and it's very helpful. Eh? It's, um, it's on page um, just before chapter one, you get it, okay? Now, I wanna show you every chapter starts off very clearly with a definition. This definition will remain the same. It doesn't matter what textbook you have or what, um, uh, um, what book you are studying from your, your, your definitions. You can start studying immediately. And then don't just write notes. Only write the notes of the things that you are struggling with. And when you're testing yourself, now you ask yourself, what is an asset? Now you're writing that answer. When you're writing it out of your head, that is what you're writing down. Okay, so that your book is not filled with stuff that you've rewritten. Rewriting stuff doesn't mean you've studied. But when you understand something and can answer it on your own, that means you are grasping the concept. So I want to show you, you're going through all those definitions there. And that definitions is what you can start off with immediately. And then they explain to your owner's equity. And you see they, they give you certain tables and then you can, you can uh, um, look at the papers to see what it is that they ask related to each of these sections. How will you know how to check your paper? You literally go and check the heading in the question and the heading in your topics and those headings will correspond so that you can go and highlight. Maybe you can only answer today all the questions related to assets and then tomorrow all the, the, the questions related to something else in the book, okay? Then they explain to you how to record something and then they give you a blank one to practice on your own and then they give you the answers as well there on page five, okay? So now I'm going a little faster. I wanna show you to the end to show you all your questions and answers now. Right here. Okay, because obviously it starts off slow, but it gets quite, quite difficult. So that at the end, there's an example of an entire answer. So they will give you the name of the company. Then they need you to calculate the annual depreciation and you, and then they show you how you're going to get to that answer. So those are all things that's going to be helpful to you so that you don't feel lost. And these are the items in the booklets that will, will guide you with the help of all those memos. Okay. So um, at the end, you get the full completed answer sheet and then you get memos and answers again which can be used in conjunction with the ones that we have on Classmate. And there you see, and they show you how the marks are allocated so that you don't just write your answer completely. You have to follow the steps that's in there. So that's it for accounts and overview. We'll see you soon.